Okay, we have to talk about this. I miss the Back to the Future ride more than I miss some members of my own family. It's no secret that Back to the Future is my favorite film trilogy, and the ride was delightful, featuring all of the action and comedy you'd expect from the franchise, and Christopher Lloyd and Tom Wilson doing what they do best. Frankly, after everything he's been through, I was just happy to see Doc as a successful, renowned scientist, with his own institute giving tours, which again, kinda fits with the expo theme if you squint at it. But alas, everything I fall in love with must eventually break up with me and file a restraining order before mysteriously vanishing off the face of the Earth, and Back to the Future of the Ride was no exception. I bought this shirt at this gift shop. I mean, it didn't look like this back then, it was just Back to the Future of the Store, which I guess isn't really a very interesting theme for a store. I mean, I mean it's interesting content-wise, but it doesn't really make any sense from an aesthetic standpoint. It's like, there's nothing in-universe it could have been. Well, no, it, they should have made it the antique shop. That's what they should have done for the theme. Why didn't they Why didn't they ask me back when they were designing? The, that's not the point. The point is now this shirt actually is an antique. I mean, you can't get this in there anymore. It's just Simpsons stuff. And it's cool that there's Simpsons stuff, but I miss the Back to the Future stuff. I mean, I have a picture of me and my buddy Larry in front of that store back when the DeLorean was in front of there with Doc Brown, and it was like the highlight of my high school senior trip. I mean, Larry, back me up on this one. Dave, what have I told you about calling me with your existential crises? They can't be theme park related? They can't be theme park related! Why is it gone? Why did the Institute of Future Technology have to close? These questions were eating at me, so I decided to ask the only man who would know the answer. Well, what happened was, is too many people were getting off the uh, experiment before it came to a complete stop, and thereby falling through the time-space continuum. Uh, and then I'd have to find them somewhere between 10 and 150,000 years in the past or the future. You can see why this became a problem. You guys have, should have had flying cars by now. Not mm. to mention heaven. Yeah, Doc's still here. And he rides a bike with a flux capacitor. That must be a bitch to get up to 88. And Universal still shows Back to the Future some love. The theme music still plays in Production Central, the DeLorean and Train are still here, there's still some merchandise, clips show up in montages in the parks. They just no longer show it a ride's worth of love. But if it had to go... Well, at least its replacement made a whole lot more sense than Twister. If you start building a balloon for every Flash in a Pan cartoon character, you turn the parade into a farce! The Simpsons ride is an excellent and essential addition to the theme park industry. I just wish we didn't have to lose Back to the Future for it, especially when there's a perfectly bulldozable Shrek a few blocks away. But at least they included the ride film and the pre-show on all subsequent DVD and Blu-ray releases, so I can always recreate the experience at home. Wee, it's like I'm really 30 years in the future, in 2015. I think I'm getting motion sickness. Screw it. Next time, we are looking at the kid stuff. 